I just purchased this entire Pokemon card collection. This thing is loaded with EX era cards, hollows, reverse hollows, and non hollows. That's actually one of the rarest Pokemon eras of all time, with one of the lowest print runs. This is actually the most amount of money I've ever spent buying someone else's collection. And today I'm going to show you some of the cards in it because, well, they're awesome. And then I'm going to be telling you how much I spent on buying it. And I want your opinion. Did I get a good deal or did I? There is, of course, only one way to tell. Let's zip into it. Just, yeah. Right, let's dive straight in, guys. And first things first, I was sent a slab along with the binder itself here, and I got this Kabutops PSA 9, no doubt, from Neo Discovery. Well, in Japanese, they call it Neo 2, don't they? But that's, that's Discovery. Wicked set, and that is a beautiful card. I love that. Then we got the binder itself, and I've got to give props to them, Voltex. Mm. And then straight off the bat, you get an idea of exactly what there is to offer in this. Lots of reverse hollows from EX era. We've got like Ruby Sapphire with that Delcati. We've got the Sandstorm with the Slack Off. EX Team Magma Aqua with that Torkoal right there. Mancentric, which is weirdly aqua, but electric type. Like, that, that doesn't make sense to me. Loads more reverses from that set as well. Look at that Zangoose. More reverses from the set. We've even got some trainers. We've got the Shishima, Schema, Schema, and Archie. Some of the non hollows as well from the set, as well as these two. Look at that Kyoga and the Groudon. Very cool. And a secret rare Groudon from EX Hidden Legends. I got one of these in PSA 9, actually. I love it. That is such a nice card. We got some of the trainers. Trainers from EX era, are actually really sought after. Uh, in particular, some of the Team Magma Aqua ones. Like these, look, we got the energy. We got the Aqua one, which is water. Makes sense, right? And then Magma is fighting. Like, I'm not sure. Why is that? Look at that slack off. Like, water pose. Ew. We got some non hollows in here, like that Pichu. Another Pichu. We got Charmander non hollows from EX Fire and Leaf Green. Beautiful set. Love this. We got loads of the reverse hollows from that set coming up. So nice. Bulbasaur. Another Bulbasaur. We have one of the Squirtles and then this Squirtle right here, guys. This is a big card, especially in reverse holo. I think it goes for like £50 in reverse holo. But of course, it's because it looks like that Nirvana cut album cover, doesn't it? A really nice looking total doll. I love that. How happy is that? Houndoom. People do love a doggo. And that is a very nice one indeed. From EX Dragon. I believe it is in the condition. It's looking there's a little bit of widening down there. But I'd still say overall pretty good. Not gonna lie. I really like this artwork on a Barbos. Like Barbos is not a Pokemon that I collect. But I love that artwork. Some more reverses in here. Really nice looking Geo dude. Just chilling. Pretty cool grime. Is that a clay doll? I think it is. We have a hound or, as I said, people love a doggo. Oh, look at that mudkip. EX Dragon mudkip looks really nice. Some more reverses, including some of the trainers. Oh, Lombre, someone's hurt you. You're in good hands now. You're safe. We got a wheezing magic carp. Big fan of magic carps. Now we got some stuff from Fire Red Leaf Green. We've got this Nida Queen. Very nice. That's the hollow. But then as you can see here, guys, we also have the reverse hollows of the cards. What's really cool is the Fire Red Leaf Green reverses have all the different energy symbols. So nice. Volpix from EX Emerald. That's a reverse hollow as well. In EX Emerald, they actually put the set symbol in the card as well as Pokeballs in the hollow pattern. So much better than modern hollows, aren't they, those? Got some of the reverse energy cards looking cool. Nice little shen Shed Ninja there. We have this slacking whale lord look as a Delcati. Very nice looking ghastly here from EX Fire Red Leaf Green. Look at the hollow pan, so good. Now, before I go any further in this binder, let me tell you what I'm going to be doing with these cards. Firstly, I will be giving loads of this away here on the channel. At the end of each month, I do a member and subscriber giveaway stream. And of course, a bunch of this is going to be included in that. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that alert bell so you don't miss it. And secondly, I'm actually going to be selling a load of this collection and I'm going to be doing it on Whatnot. That's right, Whatnot has officially launched in the UK now. And I'm actually a UK partner, which I'm so excited about. We're going to be running single sales, slab sales, breaks with bounties, and tons 
and tons of giveaways. I'm of course going to be running this alongside everything we already do here on YouTube. It's just such an awesome opportunity. I love the platform. I'm so glad it's finally here in the UK. And to celebrate that, I'm actually going live tonight with my first like official stream. And I'm just going to give a ton of stuff away. So make sure you come and tune in 9 p.m. UK time. I will put a pinned comment down below. Right on this page, guys, we have some unknowns from EX Unseen Forces. And yo, swell, swell. But as you can see from these, these are actually a subset from Unseen Forces. As you can see, look there, it says C to 28. So instead of having numbers, they had the what, what the actual unknown was, like the letter of it as well. Looking really cool. We got a few more there. We don't have a complete set, but that doesn't matter. Spoink. Couple of nice Arcanine non-hollows from Sandstorm in there. Nice Dragonair. The artwork on this is very cool. Just a shame we got that damage right there. Very nice looking pony to reverse from EX Fire Red Leaf Green. I love this Onyx card, guys. That is beautiful. EX Unseen Forces. They put the stamp in Unseen Forces as well on reverse hollows, which is cool. And the condition is pretty nice. Maybe a little bit of winding on the top, the top edge, but I'd say that's just from being in the pack. Nothing about it being played. Very cool. Ooh, we have another swell, guys. We have another swell in this Aridose. You can see just coming out, it's like shooting the swirl out in there. Polyrath, hollow from Unseen Forces, and two hollow EX Emerald X Blouds right there. Some more EX Emerald, but reverse hollows looking very nice. The Relicanth, and of course the Chin Chow. Look at this Zangoose. Check that out. That looks absolutely beautiful. And can you see how it's like got the Pokeball? up in this top corner, going into it and like going through, it's like a bleed. Beautiful looking Voltorb, like really giving you the stink eye there. And then look, some of my favorite Pokemon as well, Pidgeot, Pidgeotto and Pidgey. We have the hollow version with a swell, the reverse hollow Pidgeotto, reverse hollow Pidgey and another hollow Pidgeot. And check out that, T Lavater from Unseen Forces, that's really nice. We've got some other nice reverse hollows and hollows in here. So we've got a hollow from Fireleaf Green on the Polyrath. And we've got this Unseen Forces reverse hollow Chansey looking very cute. And then this is a reverse hollow rare, as you can see from the little star, from Fire Red Leaf Green. And when they did the reverse hollow rares in that set, they would add this symbol in here as opposed to just the normal holo version, like this one, which doesn't have the symbol and it has a completely different holo pattern. Hands down, the reverse holo looks better, right? You agree? Two of the reverse holo dugongs, what's the condition like? Ooh, that one is unfortunately got the little fold over in the corner, so that is not ideal, that is damaged, but still a very nice card. The other one on the other hand though, does look a lot better. Look how many symbols are in that water. That's incredible. That hollow artwork is amazing. This one is actually really nice condition. We also have the hollow versions to go with the two reverse. Nice bee drill. Hollow version of the bee drill as well. That does have a crease though. Look at that damage. Swablu. We have the Butterfree reverse and the hollow version. So you get a really nice example on the difference. See, reverse is best. Nice looking Marrick in there. Look at that. The colors in this card look awesome. Not like a massively popular Pokemon, but still looks really good. That Jinx reverse looking nice. <gasps> we got another Houndor. We got another Doggo. Some nice Mudkips in here as well. Very cool. Look at that Natu artwork. Like that. Some more EX Emeralds. Look at that Do Duo. That looks sick with the pink in it. And like the blue. That's so cool. Very nice looking Lickitung from EX Fire Red Leaf Green as well. With all the little symbols. And the Hypno Reverse Rare Hollow. All right, look at this for a cloister artwork, guys. How cool is that? Because it's reverse as well. You get all the symbols. Look absolutely awesome. I love it. Now, I actually quite like the artwork on this Weedle. The little real sketch design to it looks very cool. But we got some more reverse hollows from Fire Ready Green. Lots of that primate is popping with like design on it. It does, however, have a mark on the card on the inside, which is a shame. Cleffa, Claydol looking cool. I saw Nummel. Spoink! Some more very nice looking EX Emerald Reverse. We've also got a couple of uh, Psyducks there. We've got the Sandstorm one. We have the Team Magma Rack one. And then we have the Golduck for Sandstorm. So we've got the little evolution line there. Very nice looking Don Fan artwork, Del Catty. And even that Sharpedo is not a bad looking card. Still think that's one of the weirdest names for a Pokemon. Not about you. This is awesome. Look at this Reverse Darkness Energy from Emerald 
symbols in the background look stunning. You've got the set symbol on the front as well. And two very cool multi energies. We've got the emerald one here, and we then have the fire red leaf green version. So that's got all the symbols. I would say I actually probably prefer the emerald. The, the hollow pan pops more in the emerald than it does in the fire red. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. It's hot side. Yo, this is a very nice Pokeball. Some trainer cards from EX era held some really good value. A couple more different Pokeballs. We've got the Pokeball, we've got the Great Ball. More of those trainers, like I said, this is a really popular one. The Professor Elms with the Total Chikorita, and the Cyndaquil. More trainer cards looking nice. This looks good. That's got a nice pattern in that one. We've got more reverses. We've got some Skiddies. Nice little Treco. Torchic. Now, on this page, guys, we get into some Sky Ridge cards, as you can see here. Here, we got the Beedrill. Nice, ghastly. Oh, it, that Macargo is looking good. What's the condition looks like? So, obviously, the front being non hollows look pretty good. Backs, on the other hand, I'd say that's very good. I, I'd go for Near Mint. Very cool. Cleffa. That Growlithe, though. That's going to be popular. And we've also got some reverse hollow Sky Ridge cards, like this dabbing style. We've had a couple of dabbing Pokemon in this binder. Love this card. This Polyrath is very cool. And would you agree, that's an Aerodactyl, right? I know some people think that's a Ho-Ho, but that is, uh, that's, an, that's an Aerodactyl, yeah? Very nice looking Flareon. We got Reverse Magmite. What's the condition like on that? So it's not too bad. There is a mark. I can feel it like as if it would come off. And a little bit. That's probably one of the more worn ones, I'd have to say. Yeah, you look at the back. Couple of marks, but still a cool card. All right, and we're on the last page, and we have a reverse Natu. By the way, this artwork here is so cool. There's a few cards in this set where they've all got these golden orbs, like these um, sort of spheres in the background, and they're all done by like different artists with different lo looks on them, like the Magneton, I think, was in this set that had something similar in that. Very cool. We then have a Jolteon from Unseen Forces in hollow. Very nice. And a Salamence hollow in here as well from ex dragon very cool all right so now down to the nitty gritty what did i pay for this collection well i paid 365 pounds and that included everything you saw even that voltex binder what do you think did i get a good deal or did i make a mistake let me know in the comments down below other than that though thank you so much for watching i really really hope you enjoyed the video can i just take a moment as well to say a massive thank you to Lanky. He was one of the mods here on the channel. He has now gone on to help me with editing my videos now. And this is the first one we have done together. So I want to give him a massive, massive round of applause. And can we show here some love in the chat and make sure we get as many likes on this video to show our appreciation for the amazing support he's given us. Anyway, thank you so much, Lanky. Thank you so much to all you guys watching. Hit that subscribe button and ring that alert bell so you don't miss the giveaways on these cards. Stay safe. See you in the next one. Peace.